Hi everybody, this is a video of two of the high pressure mercury vapour light bulbs and the two metal halide light bulbs. As you can see, I thought I'd do uh, two of the metal halide light bulbs with the two mercury vapour light bulbs, which have got um, two white elliptical shapes and two clear tubulars. Uh, the two white elliptical shapes are the mercury vapours and the two clear tubulars are metal halide ones, which is quite similar to mercury vapour. So, as you can see now, they're all... Uh, plugged in together and uh, ready to fire up in one second or two so and um and as you and as i've got now it's the 125 watt phillips one and the and uh, the 250 watt venture one yeah and uh, the two were uh, sw clark limited and they're both cool daylight ones those two metal halides and they're, they're both uh, in the same family both sw clark limited ones the two uh, clear tubular metal halide bulbs and everything everybody so anyway guys I'm going to um, turn off this big lamp now so right that's it now onto the the uh, metal halides and the two mercury vapor lamps now everybody ready after three one two three wow as you can see uh, they both started up uh, the two mercury vapors they've started up a nice uh, yellow reddish pink colour like this 250 watt one is and this uh, metal halide bulb uh, these two metal halides they're both uh, coming on as a nice cool uh, daylight glow so we'll have a bit of hint of daylight and uh, normal whites from a uh, metal halide and uh, mercury vapours and as you can see that the, met the metal halide bulbs fully starting to cha change like a minty colour and as well as this 150 watt one the, the 150 watt and the two and the 250 watt one, they're both twinkly. Oh god, look at them, they look beautiful now. Nice. It's got I've got two of them. Um I tried uh, the metal uh, the Osram metal halide bulb, but it was really struggling. I think it's a bit faulty that one, so so I had to change it for this uh, to this uh, SW Clark Limited one, which is the same name as the 150 watt one. So so as you can see now, and it's hard to see, you can't really see the mercury vapors, but they are coming on though. But they um but they will take a little while to fully warm up, so so as you can see now. Oh, wow! God in heaven, the two metal halides are coming on nice and bright. Yeah, they both shine very nice um, white colours. And, and they are very, they are quite noisy, though, because they've already started coming on. But, but as soon as they're fully warmed up, they will quieten down. But they do that when... They, I think it's usually do that with metal halide bulbs, but I think they do with the high-pressure sodium bulbs, the two sons... But now it's two metal halides and two mercury vapours. And I thought I'd do those four together like I did the yesterday and the day before. And, um, oh God, I've got to be careful looking at the uh, metal halide bulb uh, with my eyes. Because that one's two, 250 watts bright. It looks a right big daddy one. And that one's the medium one. So, anyway, it's easy to look at them through uh, through this tablet. So, so as you can see, guys. And... Um, <sighs> And it's looking nice and white. Uh, you can't really see the heat. Well, it's all full white and everything, guys. So I've got 250 watts. Uh, yeah, two, the two 250s making it uh, 500, and uh, including the 150 watt one and the 125 watt one. So, so as you can see now, it looks like from my eyes, look, I can see um, the blue gas from in each one of those mercury bulbs through the coating because they're coated white, and these two are clear and they're tubulars. So, so, and it does make a bit of a loud racket, so, so as you can see now, um, and it does sound a bit quite noisy, I think it's that 250 watt one on my right, right at the end is fully making a loud racket, so, and, um, yeah, and it's good to, to have goggles on, because, um, well, goggles when you're looking at a bright light, oh, it looks as bright as a welding, that's what it is when I looked at it from my eyes, but don't worry, I've, I put the tablet towards over above my eyes so I don't blind myself. From my eyes, well, the, the metal halide, the, the 150 watt one shines a bit more warm white somehow. But look at the difference. This one shines a bit more, um, well, that's supposed to be cool white, but this one's like more daylight than the 150 watt one. But the 250 watt one's a bit more more shiny and bright. It's like being in a factory. It reminds me of, I know, in PC, I know PC World used to have full of lights and light in front warehouses would have light bulbs. Well, metal halide ones <coughs> coming into um, the twentieth century, like and the last decade, we used to start to have metal halide before LED took over. But now, I think every warehouse around the UK are all be fitted with LED, which that stands for light emitting diode and what have you guys. So, 
Look up all around my room. Oh, it's shining nice and bright and, and it's lit my breakfast tea table like 500 watts bright and that's from the two 250s and especially the 150 and the and the uh, 125 watts. So, so as you can see now, but them two metal halides warm up pretty quickly, they do. They warm up more quickly than the, the two mercury vapours. Well, that's all it is and it's lit my, and you see my bananas, bananas in pyjamas and including my oranges, apples and pears. Like me now, I said, up the apples and pears to Bedfordshire, like I said on the video yesterday. And, um, and, and there's all around, there's my fan tower, and there's, that's the bulb. I've done that put on YouTube as well, because I, I was using... That's a good bulb to use to do YouTubing, because that, that... So I can see better, and it's more extra cool daylight. And it's got 8,000... Let's have a look at it. Is that how many watts Kelvin does it have? It's got 23 watts, that's usually equivalent to 120 watts, so... So anyway guys, so as you can see now, the, the two mercury vapours and two metal halides are fully warmed up now, they're full brightness, uh, two of them at 250 watts bright and hot and the one at 150 watts bright and hot and one at 125 watts bright and hot. So I've all reached the full brightness and uh, they do take a little while, well the two two mercury vapours full took a little while to reach the full brightness but the two metal halides uh, only took about a second or two to fully reach their brightness. I think that's why people turn to change from a mercury vapor to metal halide, and, and especially high pressure sodium, especially in factories, they change them all to metal halide because metal halide, they're usually they're more longer lasting and they're more efficient, unlike in newer modern swimming pools and swimming baths and what have you. So, and it's lit all, all around my room, it's, it feels like it shines like heaven and what have you. Yeah. And that's all it, it's all it does now, so, and, and as you can see now, and I thought I'd do two of, for those, four, two of each together, so, anyway guys, all I'm going to do now is turn them off and turn them back on, uh, here we go, wow, and as you can see now, the, the metal halides, uh, the two mercury vapours are fully warmed up, well, fully gone out now, and the, the metal halide's still glowing, and, and the, uh, the 250 watt one but it's no longer glowing now that they fade away more quickly than the two uh high pressure sodium so <laughs> so well anyway guys i'm going to turn those lamps back on now so here we go wow and as you can see oh wow the, the the 125 watt one just uh came on for a little bit and then it just came back in and that was a bit quick but anyway let's have a look at this 250 watt mercury vapor that just comes up. I thought that that one, that Philips one, was going to make a pop. It did make a bit of a pop when I first, um, when I first did a YouTube video of it. It started to make a bit of a pop. So let's take a look at this uh, two hundred fifty watt mercury one before it comes back on. It will come up with a bit of lightning bolts, like seeing the lightning bolts in my my electric plasma bowl. So as you can see now, all it is, you can see it now. It's all the lightning bolts all twiggling inside. Let's, and I bet these, but they both come in before the two metal halides do. So. Oh, here we go. Ready, steady. Hey! That's it now. It's just the two uh, mercury vapors that have come back on now. So, um, so as you can see now, and they the, the both come on now. So, let's just wait for those uh, two metal halides to fully re-strike up now. So, all I'm going to do now is just sit and wait and just wait for those two metal halides to fully restrike up. They do take a little while though, but the mercury vapors didn't take two minutes. They only took about a second or two, especially that 125 watt and the Philips one. So it came on like a, a pink color before it before it started. Um, it used to come up with a bright pink and then a bit of blue came in. That means it was getting ready to restrike. And they, they still shine a bit like, oh, hey, oh, the, the metal halide ones just, uh, come back in now um that didn't take long it looked like it didn't look like it was gonna come in but mind you it had a bit of lightning bolts coming up out of it let's take a look at the 250 watt one looks like that's oh i bet i wonder how long that one's gonna take but but also like we've got a bit of cool um a cool minty white glow oh wow that sounds a bit more um shining a bit changing a lot of it's sort of popping a pink colour, looks like it was going to pop, but I'm glad it hasn't come. Oh, wow, it's done it again. Wow. So amazing. That's quite amazing. I find them very amazing type of lamps, metal halide bulbs. So and tomorrow night I'll do two high pressure sodiums and two metal halides, which I'm going to do. So that's all I'm going to do, guys. So 
and look and see what's happening now. And um, <clears throat> now then, what's happening with um, what's happening to this um, this uh, high pressure sodium, this uh, metal halide one? Is it is that one going to come back on yet? Oh, let's come a bit closer. I can't hear up because these three are fully making noises. So, what's going to happen now? What's happening to this uh, high pressure, this metal halide bulb? Is it going to come on? It doesn't seem to be doing now, does it? What's happening? Hope it's nothing to do with um, these two. Uh, these two come, uh, these three coming back straight on. Does it? Is it them, Sean? Oh, hang on! I can hear something. Should be nothing to worry about. But we'll just have to, just. Oh, hang on! I think I saw a little flash. Then that means it's going to get ready to. It's getting ready. Oh, here we go. It's like cars automatic, it's high dramatic. What's it going to do? Is it going to do it? It's like grease lightning. Oh! Need a bit of a flicker then. Oh, don't tell me it's gone dead, is it? Hope it's not blown the fuse, is it? Hey! Wow, that wow, that's fully made it now. It look, I was a bit worried then. I wonder what was happening. It's just it looked like it was it was nearly almost coming back on, and then it just conked out again. But it looks like it just went fully dead. But now it's come back on. Oh, it was struggling to come back on. But at least that two hundred fifty watt one's made it now. At least we've got a bit of hint of blue from the from the metal halide bulb. But these two, but more hit, but more of white than a hint of blue. From these three bulbs the two mercuries and that metal halide it's just that 250 watt one was struggling to come back on but never mind guys so as you can see now it's a uh, fully uh, re restarted up again it does have this uh, recharging mechanism in, in each one of those bulbs they start with a bit of a uh, gas oh i saw a little flicker then it's like a pink color but now it's turned back oh wow wow i love that it's so amazing it does give me make you jump it give you a bit of a sparkle so and um and it's shining a lot of different pink colors <laughs> so so as you can see now so wow it's like it looks it looks a bit of a big daddy that that metal halide bulb so so as you can see oh wow it's so interesting a very 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 interesting type of light bulb now let's look at the etch on it as you can see that'll give me a bit of a chance while so Wait for this one to fully reach its full brightness. Oh wow! MH uh, two hundred fifty E forty. It's got six thousand Kelvin. That something is it shines more cool daylight and what have you. So uh, so. <clears throat> well anyway, guys. So as you can see, let's take a good glimpse into what each and every one of them before I turn them out again. And um, and uh, you can't really see all and. Uh, you can see a bit more in this one, this, uh, yeah, you can still see through that dint hole, it's, you see the mercury actual, the, mer the actual gas is sh it shines a more blue colour, but around, but in the surrounding on the coating it shines more white, well like lilac, pinkish white, but the gas shows blue, but as you can see, um, these two, uh, the two metal halides, they're quite similar, and, um, it does shine like um, a very nice bright colour and what have you guys. So, and that's all. And that's all I can see now. It's all, but it doesn't sound as noisy now. But as it, you know, as the this one started started restriking up, it was making a rate vibrating noise. It does that. It must have a bit. Must have power. Some that strong power, powerful mechanism inside it. They're both very twinkling bright. They're, they're eight twinkle on the camera. Look white twinkly. Oof, yeah. Oh yeah, they shine very twinkly, nice, bright, and everything, guys. So, and that's all it does. And uh, and how long is it now? It's a uh, fourteen, yeah, fourteen minutes and fifty-five seconds now. 
So, and that's all I've kept this on the on the record for, and that's all for the YouTube account and everything, everybody. So, so. Well, anyway, guys, uh, once again, uh, as you can see now, uh, the, the two Mercury Vapors and the two Metal Halides have fully reached their full brightness. The 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 Philips 125 watt one's reached its full brightness at uh, 125 watts bright and hot and everything. And uh, the the tubular metal halide one's reached its full brightness at 150 watts bright and hot. And uh, the, the, uh, the Venture Mercury Vapor light bulb has reached its full brightness at 250 watts bright and hot and everything. And uh, once again, the, the 250 watt metal halide light bulb, the SW Clark Limited one, has uh, reached its full brightness at 250 watts bright and hot and everything, guys. So, as you can see now, they've all reached their full brightness uh, to every wattage bright and hot and everything, guys. So, all I'm going to do now is turn out those big lamps now. So, wow. As you can see now, they're both uh, glowing, but they'll they fade away a bit more quickly. They fade away more quickly than the metal halide. Well, they they fade away more quickly than the make well than the metal halide bulbs, but they're fully faded away now. So all I'm going to do now is turn the this lamp back on now. So right, that's it now. Um, the big lamp's back on now, everybody. So. Anyway guys, uh, this is a video of two of the high pressure mercury vapors and the two metal halide light bulbs and everything everybody. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. So please comment, rate, share and subscribe. Thank you for watching everybody.